Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Pi Made Easy. Today we're diving into how to control a stepper motor using a Raspberry Pi 5 and a ULN2003 driver. The setup is perfect for adding precise movements to your project. Let's get started. First, let's go over what you need. A Raspberry Pi, a ULN2003 stepper, a stepper motor, female to female jumper wires. Begin by connecting the voltage and ground terminals of the ULN2003 driver directly to the 5 volt and ground volt pin on the Raspberry Pi using the female to female jumper wires. This setup will provide power to the driver. Next, connect the control pins from the ULN2003 to the Raspberry Pi, once again using female to female jumper wires. Connect IN1 on the driver to GPIO14, IN2 to GPIO15, IN3 to GPIO18 and lastly IN4 to GPIO23 on the Raspberry Pi This setup will allow you to control the motor steps and direction just to give you a quick background on why we're using the ULN2003 driver. It is a crucial setup because it provides the correct current and voltage levels required by the stepper motor. It also simplifies the process of controlling the motor by offering an easy interface between the Raspberry Pi and the motor windings. Now let's move on to the coding part. Open your Python editor on the Raspberry Pi and enter the code that I've included in the description or feel free to modify it however you see fit. So the way the script works is that it sets up the GPIO pins and defines a step sequence for the stepper motor. The step motor function which you can see controls the motor by iterating through the step sequence allowing you to specify the number of steps and the direction. For example, for the first step sequence, it activates the first wire. The second step activates the first and second wire. And the third step activates the second wire. And the logic for all of them is pretty similar. And the main loop continuously asks the user for the number of steps and direction, enabling precise control of the motor. Once your code is ready, run the script and enter the number of steps and direction to see the motor move accordingly. This setup allows you to control the motor's position and speed with precision. These values may differ if you're using a different stepper motor, so it's kind of important to experiment and determine the exact number of steps for accurate control. And that's it, you've successfully learned how to control a stepper motor using a Raspberry Pi 5 and a ULN2003 driver. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future vi videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.